are speaking out following talks of dark money pouring into advertising campaigns. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adam Rasmussen. News 9's Sabrina Lee spoke about the impacts of dark money with those running in the 69th district. She's in studio with their reaction. As we approach the August primary, you might have noticed some new mailers, texts, or even phone calls lately talking about the reps in your area. Now, some candidates are saying some of what you're reading might not be true. Blatant lies, character assassination, it's horrible. It's called the Stronger Wisconsin Fund. It's a political action committee formed in June of 2024. A PAC is a political committee organized for the purpose of raising and spending money to elect and defeat candidates. 69th Assembly District candidate Lori Voss says the mailers have been damaging for her campaign. Some saying she took a pay raise during her time as mayor of Abbotsford. It's just absolutely all lies. I mean, anybody that knows me knows it's lies. I didn't take a raise. Um, the mayor does not have a vote. Voss is facing off against incumbent representative Karen Hurd. While the Stronger Wisconsin Fund has mailers opposing Voss, the same fund also sent out mailers in support of Hurd. Hurd says other PACs and third party groups are actively campaigning against her as well, and that all that can be done is verifying the facts. They have to do is they have to just remember that there's always someone with an opinion out there, and you need to seek out the candidate and ask Ask them your questions yourself. Voss says anyone with any questions regarding the mailers or her campaign are free to contact the city of Abbotsford to confirm or deny any facts during her tenure. They can call the city of Abbotsford and ask mm -hmm. questions and they'll set them straight. The Stronger Wisconsin Fund has spent over $400,000 on the Republican primary, with an initial report spending of $159,000 in late July, another $46,000 two days later, and another $200,000 just weeks before the August 13th primaries. Over $16,000 of that $400,000 was spent on Voss. This isn't the only instance of dark money spending and claims in the primary race. Just last week, we reported that Welcome PAC has spent nearly $200,000 in support of 3rd Congressional District candidate Rebecca Cook. You can find more about that story on our website at WAOW.com. In studio, I'm Sabrina Lee, News 9, WAOW.